Hey, Cal Rocks, here we are on a Monday morning. Time to talk some sports over the wild weekend with our guy, Pep. What's going on, Pep? You know, guys, it's it's always been one of my most favorite times of the year when we have March Madness, and I know 40 loves the start of the baseball season. Uh, <laughs> you know, It's just a good time of the year. There's just so much going on right now. And, yes, the madness is upon us as we, we complete the round of 16, as we get to the round of 16, I should say, tonight. We're in the round of 32 to punch your ticket to the Sweet 16. And guys, I know we bash a little bit on Pac-12 football because Pac-12 football just isn't, you know, they can't hang with the SEC and the, and the Big 12 and the Big 10 and some of those out there. But Pac-12 basketball earning a little bit of respect right now in the NCAA tournament. It is very true. It has turned out that the uh, Pac-12 has kind of snuck up on people, and every Pac-12 team that is in, you know, the USC, the UCLA, the Oregon, they're very tough and scrappy. So in general, that conference is a uh, they got something to prove. I mean, undefeated, and even uh, I believe it was Colorado got that little bit of a boost getting, or was it Oregon? Which team got the uh, the advance because of COVID? It was Oregon. Oregon got that free pass. Oregon. Yeah, so they go to the round of 32. So they're one win away from the Sweet 16 without him, you know, won a game in the tournament yet. Right. I know it's better. I mean, take it where you can get it. Take it where you can get it. And they are a tough team. We'll see if they if they live up to it. It'll be cool. Yeah. So we got USC and UCLA in action tonight. USC is going to take on Kansas. That's going to be tough to get to the round of 16. That's a tough draw. Uh, and UCLA has got Abilene Christian, which is kind of the one of the Cinderella schools, I guess you could say so far, if they were able to advance at this point. Oral Roberts, the number 15 seed, is the lowest seeded team to make it to the Sweet 16 so far. But yeah, USC, UCLA both in action tonight from the Pac-12. And how about this? Oregon State, who was picked to finish last in the Pac-12 this year, they've already punched their ticket through the Sweet 16. They won yesterday against Oklahoma State. And now Oregon State in the Sweet 16, guys, they'll take on Loyola of Chicago, who got a little bit of fame a couple of years ago when they made a great run deep in the, in the NCAA tournament. Well, yes, yeah, Sister Jean. is. Uh, they got Sister Jean power. They don't got Pac-12 power, though. Yeah, I know. It'll be Pac-12 versus Sister Jean. It should be a good one. <laughs> I had to look it up because, I listen, I knew Sister Jean was old, but I didn't know how old was she. Uh, 101, right? The chaplain of Loyola yeah. Chicago, 101 years old. And she's been at the game, so it's cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. That's one of those fun little stories there. So, yes, final round of 32 tonight. If you win tonight, you go to the uh, Sweet 16 and advance. And so far, it's been looking pretty good for those Pac-12 schools. Uh, we'll see what UCLA and USC do tonight. Now, one quick shout-out here for a local team. California Baptist University women's basketball. 26-0 and now on the season. They have made it to the Elite Eight of the WNIT. They will take on Rice University tonight. If they win tonight, they go straight to Memphis and the WNIT Final Four. That's pretty impressive. Local team. Good job, girls. Only thing Rice is good for is fixing iPhones. <laughs> That's true, and it works. Like I, know, I don't know if you have tried. It. Like I thought it was like an urban myth. It works no. if you if you drop your iPhone in water and put it in a bowl of uh, white rice. It actually soaks up the water. It works. It works. Works was that terrible at women's basketball. <laughs> I'm going to remember that one. Uh, to the NBA now. Man, scary moment for Laker fans with LeBron James going down with a high ankle sprain. Um, it looked like maybe he was going to try to walk it off and still play, but it looks like it might be a little bit more serious than we thought. He is out indefinitely, so now the Lakers are without LeBron and without Anthony Davis, and uh, it's going to be a little bit rough for a while for Laker fans. So not used to him getting injured. I think we have to realize that he is actually human. I mean, even hearing some of the uh, the analysts talk about it today, they're like, really, this just kind of ruins a team's playoff hopes because now a team is going to get a higher playoff seed and then just have to play the Lakers in the first round. Could be. You're exactly right. Like the Lakers, you know, let's say they fall to, oh, I'd say like the five seed and you're the number four team, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, like we we drew the Lakers at five? Like this is, you know, right. this is not fair. But yeah, you're right, because listen, the Lakers will make the playoffs, but could they stumble a little bit in a very jam-packed Western Conference and just slide down the, you know, the, the pecking order a little bit? Yeah, they could, but they're still going to get into the playoffs, and they're still going to be healthy, it looks like, when they get to the playoffs. It's going to be a, a huge headache, whoever has to meet them in the first round. 
Right. I think we have to remember too, in all these seasons for LeBron, this is like only the second time ever he's like legit been injured. And yeah, that's it's kind of the first time I've really thought about like what a NBA is going to look like post LeBron because like right. he's getting up there. Eventually, these injuries are going to take over. Yeah. What, who am I going to cheer for at that point? You know, uh, who's your boy, Lamelo Ball? Is he your next boy? <laughs> There's, there's an open competition right now. There's no favorite in this 40s love okay. race. Maybe Kawhi. It's yeah, Kawhi. Kawhi. <laughs> Never Kawhi. I can't do. I can't love a robot. They're, they're not capable of emotions. You're Kawhi boy. <laughs> you know what's funny with you know, and I'm not trying to pick on our guy Kawhi Leonard, the pride of King High School for the Clippers. But you know, they they've had this this thing for theme parks right in the state of California where they're going to reopen, but you can't scream, you can't like yell on the rides. And, <laughs> but they, what's funny is they always use this meme of Kawhi Leonard because he'll be going up for a dunk and he'll have zero emotion on his face, nothing. Yeah. Not an emotional dude right there. That guy could pass a polygraph no matter what, so you keep your eye on him. Yeah, celebration of him like the birth of his child. He's just, yeah. Great. Uh, <laughs> we love Kawhi Leonard. We love him. He's a great player. Great two-way player. Defense, offense, he's doing it. So uh, He's a fun guy. Fun guy. <laughs> a self-proclaimed fun guy, I should say. <laughs> and, guys, it's finally Let's go to the NFL because the NFL free agency began. The new NFL season officially now on the clock. As the, We've seen free agents going, you know, really all over the place. Now, the Rams, if you're a Rams fan, they lost some dudes on defense. I know this past year, that's where they really hung their hat was on defense. The year before that, the offense was fantastic. Last year, it was the defense. They've lost some, lost some guys in free agency. Agency, but I just saw late last night the offense picked up wide receiver Deshaun Jackson. So maybe the Rams are going back to that. Hey, let's make sure we're just going to outscore everyone, kind of like the Kansas City Chiefs. Whatever the defense does, maybe doesn't really matter because if we can just outscore everybody, you can't fight fire with fire. You're not going to mess with us. So they added Deshaun Jackson on offense, and maybe with Matt Stafford at quarterback, the Rams are going to be known for offense once again. Well, they know he can throw that home run ball, the jugs machine ball. If you do want to see Deshaun Jackson in action, in pads, show up early in the year. He's never there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> from an Eagles fan, right? From uh, yeah. personal experience, I'm assuming. He's made of paper. <laughs> so, I mean, at least they add that on offense. But on defense, it is the problem of you just can't pay everybody and they can get more money somewhere else. And this is NFL free agency. Yeah, I mean, a couple Rams had a good seasons on defense last year, and they went out and got a payday with another team. And I guess it's just the nature of the beast. That's the NFL. That's the business. But the Rams defense, which was really good last year, is going to look a lot different come this upcoming season. And the offense, which kind of struggled last year, it looks like it might be the strong point going into next year with the addition of, of course, Matthew Stafford at quarterback, and now the addition of Deshaun Jackson at receiver. They're going to have a ton of targets out there on offense, a lot of great um, you know, special okay. special players. You know, we'll have to see what happens because there could be more to come with the draft. Yeah, and the draft is still in front of us too. So it's going to be a crazy time for these NFL teams because you know you look at free agency, you see who you got, who you didn't get, and then you know where your holes are at. Like, hey, we didn't we didn't improve the offensive line, or man, we do need guys on defense. Our offense looks great now. What do we do on defense? You can address those needs in the NFL draft coming up. At least we'll be in the stadium. So hopefully, I hope I didn't just jinx it and have to tell how to get your stuff. It's Inland Sports. Check it out. Talking about our local guys in the NFL. Congrats to Jamal Williams, running back from the Packers. Two years, seven and a half million with the Detroit Lions. If you like the local guys, check us out. That's Inland Sports on social media. And we got the Inland Sports YouTube channel. Thanks, Pat.